What is up, gang? Let me take you on a walkthrough through our collection carousel plugin. So I think the best way to think about this plugin is an advanced summary block. So we have those summary blocks in Squarespace. They pull in the collection content and they give you a couple options, but it's a little limited. So this plugin gives you a lot more options. So really quick, this works with our blog collection types, with our uh, blog items, titles, excerpts, dates, categories, tags, authors, all that stuff. Our products collection types pulling in the price for our product items, our portfolio collection types. There's no excerpt there, but we'll pull in our the, the portfolio thumbnail and the title. And then, of course, our events that has our title, the dates of the events, uh, image, and excerpt. Let's go over a few of these fun examples. Uh, so let's start with this. So this is, uh, this is a fun one. This allows you to freely swipe left and right. So I'm just using the trackpad on my Mac. Uh, so the user would have to have a trackpad, but they can easily swipe back and forth. If they don't have a trackpad, the arrows work just as well. You can click and drag it as well. You can click the pagination dots. It's really nice. And so this is, this is fun for like a product list if you want to show a bunch of products that you have. Inspiration for this was from the uh, Apple Store website. They got some something like this. So that's a fun one. Here's another great one. So we have a portfolio slider. So just like right here. So again, this can pull in uh, blog content. This can pull in product content. This can port pull in uh, portfolio content collections, and it can pull in event collections, all of that. Uh, so this is, this is another great one. You don't have to have four in a view. You can determine however many items you want to show within your within your uh, collection carousel at any view. So on a desktop, large, medium on a tablet, or small on a mobile. You can choose how many items are in view. So here's just showing one. Uh, another one is just autoplaying. So this is really nice. It's just going to autoplay every three seconds. It's gonna, just going to move to the next. And of course, we can interrupt it and move it wherever wherever we want. You'll also notice we have our arrows up here at the top right here. So we can move these navigation arrows around wherever we want. And this was, uh, I know, a feature a lot of people have asked for. So we got, I said eight here, but I've added more since I did this. So there's 10. So we have this overlay. This is the default where the arrows overlay. Uh, but then we also have an overlay images. So it can just overlay our images, be centered right on top of that. So that's a really nice one because you can also remove any of these items. You can easily just say, I don't want title, don't want excerpt. Just show me a list of images. Uh, and yes, as you click on any of these, it will bring you to that portfolio item if you would like. And we also have no navigation. Don't have to have that. Uh, we also don't have to have the pagination dots down there. Easy to turn those off. Then we have top center. We have top right. We have top left. We have spread. And then we have those same options for the bottom. So we have bottom center, bottom right, bottom left, and bottom spread. So you can change these arrows around wherever you want. Infinite looping is another great one. Let's go into here, infinite loop. Um, and you will notice that as we get to the end of our pagination down here, I think we have like 10 items in here. It just smoothly loops right back to the beginning. So we got this nice infinite loop. Uh, and it's also very easy, very easy to make this full width. So let's look at a full width one right here. So you'll notice it just slides right off the page right there, like there. Uh, and of course, no horizontal scrolling on our on our page, but we just easily can move through. So this is a fun one to pair with um, uh, with with uh, infinite looping because it's just like this infinite looping thing that we have on our on our website. Um, bunch of metadata options. So if you are pulling in a blog post. There's a bunch of different options you might want to attach with that. And I've created three different locations for your metadata to go in. You can do it above your title, below your title, or below the excerpt. And for any one of these three options, we have four things we can pull into that. You can pull in our, our author, the date, the category here, or the tag. So you can, in any one of those four, you can put any of those four. Uh, or any of those three locations, you can put any of those four options. It's very easy to add those things in. So this is one with just like the categories up top. Here's the date underneath and the author underneath the excerpt. Uh, or you just put all four of them down here. Bunch of different options that you can do. Mix and match those as you want. 
Uh, content display, of course, you can do like just image only, title only, excerpt only, content only, whatever it is you want. There's a bunch of different options. All right, so let's play around with installing this. What does installing this look like? So let's just go over maybe to one of our one of our items right here. And it's very simple. I just give you two pieces of code to copy and paste and do your code injection area. And then once you've done that, I give you another piece of code to copy and paste. And you just paste it into a code block. And all you need to do, this is the code I give you. All you need to do is replace this source URL with the URL of your collection, and you will be off to the races. You will have a, a default slider set up, and then I have a ton of other customizations to give you that you can pick and choose, mix and match as you wish to get any of these different layout types. Um, so that is how this works. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Would love to uh, answer those for you. And if we can't give you an answer, just maybe build it into a future version of the plugin. So hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time.